ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. On tonight's show, one of Hollywood's great motion picture stars, the wonderful Rob Bob Cummings. And with him, he brought his son, the very talented Bobby Cummings. Also on tonight's show, the many voices of comedian Mr. Jimmy Caesar. And now, the man of the half hour, Skip E. Lowe. Bob Cummings, tell me. Bob Cummings, you went to England. You changed your name. Tell me about those days when you first, you went to England and you came back to America with a British name. <laughs> Tell me about that. I don't have to, you just told the story. I want to know, no, I want to know the story. What's the story? What did you do? Well, it was, it was in the middle of the, the Depression. Uh -huh. The Depression was at its height. And strangely enough, for some reason, you couldn't get a job in New York or in the theater the unless theater. you were British. And um, there, there were 23 shows running on Broadway, and 19 of them were British. There was the Barretts of Wimble Street, Barclay Square, Good Companions, Journey's End, uh -huh. and so forth. So I got a job accidentally on an ocean liner as a waiter. I've been doing that ever since. <laughs> <laughs> and um, A good one, too, I must tell I you. Was a, a good one. one. I spilled a lot, but... Yeah, I, that's good. And I... Uh, the, ocean liner that I was on was called the Caledonia, and it went from New York to Scotland. Uh -huh. I went to Scotland and got off, and they said, listen, you don't have to go back uh, on this ship to, uh, to New York uh -huh. because you're working for the Canard Line. You can get in touch with the, uh, somebody master, right. and he will allow you to go down through England and stay here at least a month if you have enough money. Yes. And then you can go back on the, um, the Baron Garia, it was. So I did that. I went, I went back on the Garen, Baron Garia, but in the meantime, I stayed in England, and I got the idea, if I could just listen to these people talk and do impersonations of them, uh -huh. then I would be able... To go back to America. Go and tell them. <laughs> I, did, I didn't think I would tell them I was English, right. but I told them I'd lived in England. Uh -huh. But I, I did this. I stayed there a month. Uh -huh. I eventually... I was all alone, and I, it didn't seem impossible then. Mm -hmm. It does now. And I wrote letters to all the New York managers, producers, uh -huh. directors, what I, saying that I was young, the youngest actor, author, manager, director, producer in England, uh -huh. and I was coming to America for a short visit. I wasn't particularly interested in the money, but I wanted the experience of playing for American audiences. Right. I arrived back in New York, and three days later, I was featured in The Roof by John Galsworthy. And John Galsworthy came over to direct the, the show. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I've been working ever since. Name, I got, what was the name? What did you use? You I didn't British have a name. You oh, yes. Yes, you did. I did Tell me the I British did. name you used. Isn't that funny? I can't remember. What was my name? You don't remember. Blade Stanhope Conway. <laughs> ah, that was the name you used. For how long did you use that? until I found out that the initials were B.S. Conway. <laughs> <laughs> Robert Cummings. Bob Cummings. First it was Robert and then Bob. Well, but first know. it was Robert Cummings oh, first. Oh, sure. But first motion picture. When did you come to Hollywood? I came to Hollywood in 1935. 35. Uh -huh. With the Ziegfeld Follies. We played at the Biltmore Theater downtown, Fanny Bryce and William uh -huh. Eugene Howard. <coughs> and I, excuse me, <coughs> And I went back to New York with the show, and I thought, this is the place to be working. Yes. Came back to California and was given a role opposite, um, isn't that awful? Doesn't matter. I can't think of the studio. No, I, I know the studio was Paramount. Uh-huh. Um, Margaret Sullivan. Great actress. So read the role. Uh -huh. Great actress. Great. And I got this first part, uh -huh. but I didn't tell them I was English because they were looking for a Texan, so I told them I was from Texas. Uh -huh. <laughs> was it a Western movie you had to do first? I think it was. It was no, no, it was a it Southern was, movie. A Southern. It, it was <laughs> the, the original Gone with the Wind. I see. Uh -huh. it, it really was. Uh -huh. and this so is at I, Paramount. At Paramount. I got started, and I've made a lot of pictures ever since then. My favorite of all films of all times, I must tell you, Bob Cummings, King's Row. I was a I kid. I was in King's uh, That's right. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. 
our president today. Tell me about those days. King's Row. Was that 20th century? Or no, uh, that was uh, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. naturally. Of course. You had great people like Betty Fields. Loved her. Just think she's dynamite. Claude Rains. Claude Rains. Charles Coburn. And Sheridan. And Sheridan. Brilliant. What kind, of, what kind of a person was Ann Sheridan? I'm going to ask you real quick. She was quick. a girl. Yes. <laughs> but what kind of a girl? I mean, Adorable. Everybody loved Ann Sheridan. I never knew anybody who didn't like she her. She was a woman, wasn't she? A she real was just beautiful great. woman. I, just great. And Ronald Reagan, working with Ronald <clears throat> Reagan. He was probably the most honorable man I ever met. I often say I, I trust him with anything. My, my life, my wife. My money. When he was an actor, or now, you still trust him, would you say, Rob? No, I still trust you him. You would? Yeah. He, I see. Go ahead. He's talking the same way then as he, now as he did yes. then. Yes, uh-huh. And uh, I could see in those days, as a matter of fact, one day he was holding forth on the set, talking to Charlie Coburn and uh, Ann Sheridan and myself. And he was practically giving a political speech, and uh, now this was 1942. Right. That picture came out with your uh, King's Row. 42? 43? It, it was released in 43. 43, yeah. yeah. And he, um, he was sitting on the set talking, and there came a pause, and I said, Ronnie, have you ever considered becoming president? Uh -huh. And he said, president of what? I said, President of the United States. He says, oh, you don't like my acting either, do you? <laughs> <laughs> i never forget that. So we've been friends all these years. I, he Are you called. still friends with him right now? Oh, yeah. You still, you still when he became president of the Screen Actors Guild, he right. called me and he put me on the board. I was on, and I bored everybody, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so We've known each other all that time. Now, what else would you like Betty, to Betty, I want to know about Betty Fields. What's happened to that lovely lady? She died. She died, I know. But what happened in her career at those days? I mean, she was such a great actress, Bob Cummings. Why didn't she become such a real big actress? I mean, real big. She was a beautiful actress. Well, Tell she me. did become big. When did she, she? She went back to New York and, and when I last theater, saw her. Theater, theater. Yeah, she, when I last saw her, she uh, weighed about 210. <laughs> Oh, she is? Oh, really? She got very avoirdupois. Uh, uh, I see. You see, I speak Italian. You probably Italiano, see. But you're married to a Chinese lady. I uh -huh. am. Do you speak Chinese? Only at night. <laughs> <laughs> Only a uh, pillow talk. A pillow talk. <laughs> Tell me about the Jack Parr days. What happened? Jack Parr. Walked out on the show. What I want to know about Jack Parr. <laughs> you, yeah, you have to have a glass of water on that one. <laughs> Bob Cummings, Jack Parr walked out on his joke he did, and they called Bob Cummings. That's right. Sub in. Tell me. Why they called me, I don't I, I think I do know. Um, I was called to be on the Jack Parr show. And I had a vitamin company, and we made protein tablets and vitamin right. tablets and whatnot. And he got on the show, I got on the show, and he said, now you have some sort of a vitamin. I said, don't, just a minute. And I got in my pocket and got out a bag of these proteins. I said, open your mouth. O open up. <laughs> here, here, wait, put another in. And I put in about six protein tablets, big ones like this. I said, now chew, chew. And he was chewing, I said, this is the way to take over a talk show. <laughs> And I got up and went down and talked to the audience, and, uh -huh. and we kept cutting back to him. I said, see? He's still chewing. He, 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 those won't come out. They, they, they turn into glue. And but you had to leave the show. I understand something had, you had to leave to do something in China or something, or Hong Kong? You were doing a film? No, 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 no. But you did sub for, uh, for Jack Parr, though. The fact that I did this funny show with That's him right. where I took over the you show. You took over the show. And he couldn't talk. He could, yeah. Uh, they called me and said, Jack is leaving the show. Right. He's very angry. Would you take it over? And I did. And uh, How long did you take it over for, Bob? About 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was about um, a week. A week? Two you, weeks. Did you yeah. enjoy doing a talk show? Working? Yeah. In, it was yeah. in New York audiences. Yeah. Aren't they fun? Yeah, it is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Health. Body. I mean, your vitamin pills. Tell me about those days. You still take vitamins? 
Sure. Because you look not the same ones I swallowed the others. But you look absolutely <laughs> wonderful. I must say. I, I do. I want to know your secret. You know. I mean, you have a good secret. I'm going to introduce your son right now. Your son yes. is Bobby Cummings, and this is a very nice meeting nice you, young man. You're a very. Does he, tell me about your dad. Does he still take vitamins a lot? He sure does. He sure does. He does. Yes. And yeah. I understand your mother is Chinese. Yes, she's Chinese. You're half Chinese and. Half daddy. Half daddy. <laughs> <laughs> is it tough? Is it tough to be Bob Cummings around the house? I mean, come on. For me? Yeah. Oh, um, it's <laughs> around the house. It's fun. You know, there's uh -huh. there's never a dull moment. That's you, for sure. Um, I understand you're going to school. You're studying. Uh, yeah, I'm studying at FIDM, which uh, is a fashion college. Uh -huh. It's the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. Right. In LA. He's 18 and he's Eight. in college. He's 18. Yeah. yeah. How nice. And you're going to be a designer, a fashion designer, or uh, you want to be an actor? Hopefully, I'd like or? to. Well, I'd like to get my own label someday. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I'm I'm more or less looking into the field of. Uh, that's a good Acting, age. That's yeah. a good age, 18, to get into the fashion designs. I mean, that he knows exactly what he wants at 18. I mean, <laughs> Jimmy Caesar is sitting next to me. Hi, Jimmy. How are I you? Am Do you so remember when you proud. were 18? <laughs> Do I? I mean, you Jimmy know, Caesar. I, I, I Wait, say, I'm gonna tell you something. You remember when you were 18? Let's first. Don't just say proud. I mean, look at this young man. 18 years old. He and knows exactly what he wants in well, life. Well, no, but there's something, Skippy, that that, that 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 you don't know. What? Now, it happens that he happens to be incredibly talented as a uh -huh. fashion designer, right. but, but he is uh, equally talented as an actor. Uh -huh. I know something else about him. Now, you know that I do impersonations. Oh, uh, don't tell me. He's and, an impressionist. Yeah, and does some great does he, voices. Does he really? Does the biggest thrill I have had of, of a Skippy for the last few years. Now, uh -huh. I had the great honor of meeting Mr. Cummings. He insists I call him Bob. Even after all this time, right. I must call him Mr. And that's because of the respect. You know that. Right, right. And, and, and I first met, uh, 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 I first met Bob. Uh -huh. I first met Bob in, um, uh, it was Honolulu when uh -huh. I was, I was traveling with an army show. It was the Rolling Along show of 1959. Mm -hmm. And through Eddie Sherman, who was the columnist there. I know there, Eddie Sherman very and well. He was married to... Uh, to Peggy, Peggy Ryan. Ryan. Yes, they're still very and I knew much Eddie, married. And I knew yes. Eddie in Boston. Eddie Sherman had a nightclub act in yes, Boston. Yes, in fact, Norm yeah. Crosby and yeah. Eddie were a team. A game. I remember. Yes. I remember. All right, well, at any rate, Eddie and Peggy introduced me to Bob. Right. And why they were particularly thrilled is because... He has always been my idol. As right. you know, I'm always talking about Bob Cummings, and, and, and I would, in fact, b because I started uh -huh. uh, in life as a stutterer, very bad stutterer. Is that how you got but into I, your impressions? That's exactly how I did. That's that exactly. still doing it He's today. Still <laughs> 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 no, but what happened was uh -huh. I had seen, the first voice I did, I had seen a Laurel and Hardy film, uh -huh. and, and I came home, and I would usually, you know, I, I stuttered. Uh -huh. But, but I started talking to my mother, and I said, Mama, are we having pasta tonight? Uh -huh. And I didn't stutter. Uh -huh. And I, and, and like, gee, that was, this was, but it's long, but it's a little uh -huh. unusual in an Italian family to be talking with <laughs> an English accent. you just realized, you realized. True, true. How wonderful. Then I had seen, and you mentioned, uh -huh. King's Row. Oh, was I in love. What, you, I, but there's Jimmy, another cast, but listen to this. Wait. And then I did Bob Cummings. Right. I found out that if I, because see, Bob Cummings had a way of, of he could be strong, uh -huh. and, and, and yet you could, you could feel that, that, that he could have a certain vulnerability, yes, which yes. we could all relate yes, to, yes, yes. and this is why Bob Cummings, not only the women who realized what an attractive man he was, but we as men and my father and my brothers yes. we enjoyed bob cummings because he showed that you could be real you could be natural yes, and yes, and yes. and now today through the grace of god and i say of my mother and father only alive he has become one of my best friends or he has allowed me to be one of his oh, best that's friends very sweet. and when my phone <laughs> rings uh -huh. And I'm talking on the phone, says, "Oh, hi, Jimmy. This is Bob." Uh -huh. 
I say, why isn't mama here to hear this? Why isn't, oh my God, my father would say, he knows Bob Cummings, uh -huh, you know. Uh -huh. and, and so we have a lot of That's fun, funny. and you know his sense <laughs> yes, of humor, yes, because yes. they should have seen what was happening as we were getting set up for the show. <laughs> had you hysterically had the, uh, and Bobby, though, I'm leading I want to hear this. his impressions. Yes, all I right. I want to hear you both do I, <laughs> Can you? I watched Bobby grow up from a child, from a, uh -huh. and always a gentleman. Now we see this handsome six-foot Bob coming in 1987, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know? And, and so we kid around on the yes. phone. One day I called and the machine was on and I'd never heard a message machine because I would usually get Bob or Gigi yes, yes, or Bob. Yes. But I hear uh -huh. some voices. Yes. And I says, wait, did I get the right number? And then I, then I heard the number quoted. You have to do, Bobby, now I don't mean to I'm put here. you in a spot. Go ahead. You did, now if I'm not mistaken, now listen to this, Eddie Albert, who is a buddy. <laughs> right. You did Casey Kasem, you did oh. the, pre just do a fast run through of like what you did on the message. Well, uh, I, I, I believe, I, I'm not sure what I started out with. Um, I did uh, Jimmy Stewart in there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you, you know, I, I did the, the Jimmy Stewart is what, is what I did. <laughs> yeah, because Jimmy Stewart, he said, it, it's deeper. You know, <laughs> it's deeper than the deep blue sea is what it is. It's, it was, it was How about Robert Cummings? <laughs> he's Bob Cummings. Can you do well, Bob Cummings? Bob I leave, I leave Bob Cummings up to Jimmy here. He's the, oh, he's no, the, he's the no, pro with Bobby. Well, do, do Sylvester Stallone. Do Stallone. You know what? Um, like Sylvester Stallone, he's kind of hard to do because you know he's got a lower <laughs> voice than I do, you know. But um, you know, yo, that's all I can say. You know? All right, <laughs> now, the president. Yes, that's what I meant. Oh, the his former co-star. That's Reagan. Yes, do it, do it. His former co-star, Dad. <laughs> okay, I'm not used to right. doing this very that's often right, to, to most people, but you want to um, go on, come in again. <laughs> 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 um, I think it was once he said, uh. Well, Nancy and I just bought a new waterbed. <laughs> of course, Nancy and I, you know, we enjoy it a lot. But uh, Nancy calls it the Dead Sea. You know what? Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ronnie yeah. sees me, he'll kill me. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know how beautiful it's going to be to be sitting here. I and there's Bob it. and Bobby Jr. and I'm seeing Bob and Ronald Reagan. <laughs> and hear your impression of Durante. You did the show Durante. You did a one-man oh, show. Did you see his one-man oh, show? No, I saw Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo. <laughs> no, that's the show. Th thank you. Thank you. It is Buffalo. It is. Name is do Buffalo right, for me. He's been my greatest booster in this. This hat, in fact, uh, you know, folks, when we think of great comedy <laughs> we think of the bob Cummings show that youngster has it i mean it bob <laughs> <laughs> this, oh i've got one bob gets a kick out of okay this is bob gets a kick out of this one <laughs> my name is josh sperling hair club for men <laughs> to any of you wish to send in for hair weaves and our booklet which will show you the many things you could do with your hair by the way, I'm not only the president of Hair Club for Men, I'm also one of the clients. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's one. Bob taught me the that's value of, by the way, yeah. Skippy, Where are you my from dream, originally, Bill? Uh, a Buffalo, Skippy. New York. You are a Buffalo. Yes. When did you yes. get into business, actually? Let's I, real quick. I, I started, I'm one of 17 children. Mm -hmm. I'm one of, one I'm of the 17. 16th. Yes, yes. God, your father My has, father was a producer. I he, had to get into had had Any other hobbies or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, go ahead. But, but, but what happened was, I told you, I stuttered very badly. Right. And my mother, rest her soul, who, she was worried. She said, gee, Caesar is so nervous, because that's my real name, Caesar Pasquale Tranaloni. A nice Italian. Yes. Right. Well, she said, she said, gee, she said, yeah, Caesar, is, and she worried about me. Uh -huh. God, I think, by the way, it's her birthday coming up. She unfortunately she left us It's a, oh. a little over 20 years ago, but I'm going to celebrate her birthday. You are. Because it's the day that she, the... She was born, I so I, and, and, but she heard me doing these Im, Im, impersonations. Yes. She was looking for something that I could do yes. that would get my mind off of the studying and the nervousness. Yes. 
So she actually pushed me uh -huh. to get in front of audiences. I was only 13 years old, and then I got a job at McVann's nightclub in, in Buffalo, Buffalo, New York. I wasn't yep. quite 15, Bob. Yes. And this was with a line of girls and production. And a circlet bar. Yes. I remember. And I moved right up to the headline spot. I was there a year. Yes. Now Jerry Marshall of the Marshall Brothers, right. they had broken up. He came to Buffalo. He was in Buffalo, saw me, uh -huh. and I went on the road pretty much like in the Jolson I story. See. The man, yes. I was 16. How now nice. they criticized my mother. They said, what kind of a mother could you be sending your son on right, the road? Right, right. And, I, and I must tell you, I must tell you, that's the special quality she had. She touched every one of the I children and found what could I do for this one. So what? you advise people who do stutter. Yes. You would advise them, try that. Oh, definitely. They might have that talent. Definitely. Like De Melina had that, the yes. girl who won the award. She, yes. She's helping, yes. she's getting into be. This you would oh, for yes. the stutter. By the oh, way, this is very good. By the way, Bob? Mr. Cummy, nice. uh, Bob's one of Bob's uh, uh, best friends, the late Raymond Massey. Yes. Off stage, when he was not with a script, stuttered. He stuttered very badly, uh -huh. but when he picked up yes. that script, and I want you to know that you know, in all this Raymond. strength. So what it is is uh -huh. by doing impressions, I think yes. it makes you concentrate yes, yes, yes. on the words you're about Bob to say, saying. and uh -huh. then it. It yes. comes out. So, 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 yes. so, 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 what are we going to do, do now? <laughs> Raymond Massey. <laughs> Raymond Massey. Tell me. I love that man. What kind of a uh, man I never is knew him very well. He's, He's kidding. Come on. He's tell me about that man. I like to No, I didn't know him very well. That's well, true. Didn't you, oh, you oh, didn't. I thought I figured. I assumed because no, you I met him, several... but I didn't know him very well. Oh, you didn't know. Do you know who worked I... in King's Row with him? Yes, who? Our favorite, Maria Ustinskaya. I'm just going to bring it up. <laughs> just going to bring it up. Jimmy. Grandma. She I want grandma. to know, yes, I love that <clears throat> wonderful woman. Brought lots of tears to my eyes when she, you came to her. Tell me about that scene, those wonderful scenes of King's Row. Did you enjoy doing them, Bob? Oh, I loved them. Did you? Is What's your favorite film? <clears throat> King's Row. It is your favorite? Yeah. Because I'll tell you something. I was only 12 years old. Movies today for 12-year-old kids don't have movies like that. Writing, the writing, the acting, no, and the music. Me, and the music, and all the combination of it all made that. Tell me about those days. I mean, are we going to have those days again in Hollywood? No, you'll never have them because it was in black and white. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> and color detracts from the story. Yes. Black and white frames your story so beautifully. Yes. And the lighting is so beautiful. The lighting. Yes. And if you get color, it's too much. So you're unhappy what's happening with the t t making black and white into a color? No, not necessarily, no. because they, they're not changing the, the, the format. negative. Oh, they they yes. still run it black and white if they want to. Mm -hmm. They change it into color and run into color, whichever uh -huh. you want to do. Uh -huh. But um, color detracts from the story. Yes. When you have great, um, oh, like, whoa. Mm. That music in King's Row. Who wrote that music? It was brilliant. Eric Wolfgang Korngold. God, the music. It is just... How many times have you seen the movie? Oh, I've, I've seen it four or five times. Maybe. I have it at yeah. home. Do it's you? my master do copy. You? I keep a copy yeah. of it. Yeah. Yes, I, I do. It is my favorite film of all motion pictures. Oh, and really? I was only 12 years old, and I just adore that movie. Yeah, of all films, movie. that is my favorite. Excuse I'm very me. honored to have you here today because it's, it you. was a wonderful film. Excuse me, can I interject something? <laughs> you were, you know, because we're, because you started as a child in the business. Yes, you know, yes, as an yes, actor. yes, yes. But Bobby has the education. He's a Today boy at 18, yet I mentioned Ted Lewis. He says, oh, wasn't he good when my baby? He's aware of well, all of up. the... He isn't that up. Of yes, he grew isn't up. That wonderful? Yeah. Tell me what's going to happen with you now. Do you want to get into the film industry, or you just want to be a designer, or well, you just t taking it day at a time? Well, right now, I'm, I'm working for a perfume company. Ah. It's called uh, uh -huh. AW Industries, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and um, it's affiliated with uh, Centura Creations. Yes. And we have a really large line of cologne for men and perfume uh -huh. for women and uh -huh. things like that. But uh, I uh, oh, I'm more kind of cologne is it? I haven't seen any of it yet. You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I smelled it, but I didn't see it. Yeah. Well, it's it's your basic uh -huh. your basic cologne. Basic cologne. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just R Robert Cummings, Bob Cummings, looking back over your life right now, do you have any regrets? No. None. 
No, there must be something. Would you live it all over just like you did? I think so. You would? Okay. Yeah. You're happy just uh, right now in your life? Yeah. Everything? You still take vitamins? <laughs> Tell me about the sheep, <laughs> the, the one thing you went to Switzerland, you and Gary Grant. You took... Oh, I never went with him. No, but you, <laughs> but you had to... We went to Dr. Nehan's over so I was writing a book. Right. And I wanted to put in a copy, uh, I mean, a chapter on uh, Dr. Nehan's live cell therapy. Uh -huh. So I went over there, took my wife, and we had the live cell therapy. I see. And I wrote a chapter, and I spent quite a bit of time with Dr. Nehan's. And um, the American Medical Association, uh -huh. I'm told, told the publisher, who was Prentice Hall, yes. that if you don't cut that chapter out of the book, we'll ruin the book. Uh -huh. uh, that's what they told me, whether that's true or not, I, I don't see. know. But they cut that chapter out about live cell therapy. Well, nowadays, you can get it over here in Mexico, just uh -huh. below the border yes. here in Tijuana, uh -huh. and it only costs about half what it costs to go to uh, Really? To, to Switzerland. Switzerland, yes. Uh -huh. Would you tell the young people out there, is your son show business? Oh, well, he's, he's so much better than I am. <laughs> He, he, is, he is a natural born actor. Of course, he grew up uh -huh. backstage watching me do um, theaters in the round. Right. We played. Do you enjoy doing the theaters in the round? I TV did, was difficult. Except was it, that it ruined my voice. But television, difficult getting up every day, all day long. TV, Bob well, Cummings show. Television was as hard as, uh, as the theater in the round yeah. because in the theater in the round. Mm -hmm. You've got eight shows a week. Yes. And once you sign up to do it, you're you're there. True. You better True. be there. Yeah. You enjoy doing the theater, don't you, oh, Jim? I love it. I love you it. Do? And fact, how about what is new and exciting right now, and what is planning for Jimmy C? Gee, uh, uh, well, I'm, I'll just allude to this. Yeah, Through the yeah, grace okay. of God, it looks like. Uh, in four weeks, I'll be going to Italy for a film. Right. I'm not allowed to say what it's about uh -huh. or the film, but it's like, thanks to Skippy, and I say this, uh -huh. I've, I've been on your show, you right. promoted Bafola, the Durante show so right. much, uh -huh. and through the kind, kind help of Mr. Cummings and, and uh, Boris Vanoff, you know, Boris uh -huh. is, like, is, is, right. is my manager, uh, it looks like... Lord, what do you think? Michael, I haven't seen you since Susan Strasberg. What have you been doing? I mean, oh. I mean, you've got a new house now, I understand. Yeah, working on a house, painting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Just the average and that stuff. that thing you did with Jennifer O'Neill was just what? Oh, Michael, 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 it's oh. uh, Michael, it's so leaking. Cute. Oh, Skipping. God. Yeah. What is, I'm sorry. Cut, please. Oh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs>